thank you for coming. See you next time. Almost done with my shift. Just a little while longer and I get to see her again. She's so cute after work. All sleepy and tired. Gosh, I want to cuddle with her so bad. Hello, welcome to... You have got to be kidding me. How did she know? How did she find out I worked here? Was it just a coincidence? Why would she go to here of all places? Hey, um, is it okay if I go home a bit early today? After this customer? Do I have to? No, please, you don't understand the situation. She cannot see me like this. <sighs> okay, fine. But I'm getting the raise you promised me, right? <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh my, this is gonna be bad. Hey, so... Um... What are you doing here? Please don't talk about my outfit. Just don't. Here's the menu. Just call me over when you're done deciding, okay? Oh, come on. Do I have to stay here? Please stop staring at me. Stop. Please, stop. Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. You think I'm cute? Okay, look, I love it when you say that, but this is the one time I don't want to hear it. Now, would you just pick something from the menu already? No, I am not on the menu. Nor am I amused. Seriously, the quicker you do this, the more sooner we can both get out of here. Yep, of course. Your favorite. Would you like a drink with that? Sure thing. I'll make your drink and I'll get your dish too once it's done. I'll be back in a sec. Man, she is having so much fun right now. I cannot believe she found out where I work. She's probably imagining all the ways she can blackmail me right now. Yep, she totally is. I can see it on her face, even from this distance. She is so bad. <laughs> And for some reason, I just love it. So, here's your meal. Enjoy! Um, yeah, I guess I can sit down. You're our last customer and we're about to close for today. So, how did you end up here? You found out? Or was it pure luck? You heard it from someone? Yeah, I kind of figured that would happen. I am a fan favorite here. And I bring in a lot of traffic. When I mean a lot, I really mean a lot. This cafe was not doing too well last month. The owner, he's a good friend of mine, asked if I could work for a week so that he could find new staff because the old employees were leaving. I was like, sure, why not? It's only a week and I could use the extra money. On my first day, what he forgot to tell me was that the butler outfits that he ordered was going to arrive the next day. 
He really wanted me to work, so he offered to pay me double for the day, which I couldn't refuse. The first day was fine. I got a few tips here and there, but nothing out of the ordinary. On the second day though, I received my butler outfit, but the cafe was flooded with people asking for the boy in the maid outfit. As soon as word got out, it spread like wildfire and it completely revived this place. The queue was like an hour long just to get inside and the owner had to hire security to control the chaos. Obviously, the only boy in a maid outfit was me, so I ended up back in my maid outfit and people loved it. I got tipped like crazy. And I actually started to feel confident. Well, until you showed up. I don't mean to brag, but I single-handedly saved this cafe from closing down. No, no, it's not just about the money. Otherwise, I would have just left after the first week. It's a way of expressing a different side of me without being judged. The customers here, they're all caring, respectful and understanding. They love it when they see something out of the ordinary. I really love working here. Everybody here is just so supportive. And like I said, the money is a bonus, but why I'm really here is for the people. Society has such strict rules on social and gender norms that it's impossible for some people to be themselves. How are we supposed to act, look, or like whatever we want? when there is a mob ready to attack you when you do. You take one step out of line, display one thing that isn't normal, and you'll get criticized. So yeah, this is my safe space. I can look like this with no judgments. Yeah, yeah, I know. I told you I worked at a cafe, but I didn't give you the details because I was so afraid that you wouldn't like this side of me. You would love me less. But it doesn't look like you do. You are really loving this, aren't you? What? What's wrong? Why have you gone silent? Oh no, so now you're the one getting embarrassed. <laughs> oh, how the tables have turned. Initially, I was scared of what you would think of me, but seeing you in this state has me wondering what else this outfit could do to you. What happens if I sit a little bit closer. Oh my goodness. That reaction is too cute. But of course, not as cute as me. But still, it's adorable. Of course you aren't as cute as me. I mean, look at me. I am absolutely fabulous. Look at the, look at the cat ears, and the tail. Do you want to touch it? Come on, don't be shy. You know you want to. They're really soft. See? <laughs> oh, I am so fortunate to have such an understanding girlfriend like you. And you're really lucky you arrived when we are about to close. If the regulars catch me flirting with you, oh boy, I don't know what they would do to you. So you got out of work early or something? Usually I am the one waiting for you at home. Good, good. Well, I'm glad things are working out for you. 
I'm about to get a raise here, so it looks like I'm going to be working here full time. Yep, I'm a full time maid at your service. You, you want me to call you master? Um, no, I don't think so. I may be a maid, but I am not going to fulfill your deep, dark fantasies that I know you have a ton of. You're going to have to earn it, sweetheart. Don't worry. I have in mind plenty of ways you can do that when we get back home. Nah, -uh. right now, just finish your food. Looks like you're almost done, so just wait for me to get changed. Hmm? You want something? What? A kiss? Come on, I'm still at work, you know, I shouldn't be doing this. Okay, since there's nobody around, just one quick one. There. Alright, just wait for me. Oh, don't worry about the bill. I I got it. Yeah, it's on me. <laughs> Love you too, master. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness, I am not doing that again.